Hello everyone, in this video I explain experiment about interference and the diffraction of light. Actually, we calculate the wavelength of laser light. Let us we start. The apparatus are optical bench. This is optical bench of holder. This is a holder for uh, single uh, color. We use laser. So this is a laser color. Also, we use diffraction grating. So this is the diffraction grating. It contains 600 lines per centimeter. So in one centimeter, we have here 600 lines per centimeter. So D, it is the distance between two slits of this one. So this is denoted by D. So D equals one centimeter divided by 600. We change centimeter to meter, so it's one multiply 10 power negative two divided by 600. By using the laser, so the laser here, it will be diffracted into a big uh, point, bright, bright point, and then another two small bright points. This point is called uh, max central maximum. And this point is called the first maximum. And this also is called the first maximum. Now we need the angle of diffraction, the angle of first minimum. When we draw this line, this line is called D capital. And this line is called Y small. So this is the angle theta. It's called the theta one. Tan theta one equals Y over D. Actually, what we do, we measure this Y and also we measure this Y. So let this Y1 and this is Y2. So Y equals the average of Y1 and Y2. So it's Y1 plus Y2 over 2. D, it is the distance between the fraction grating and the central maximum. Let us restart the experiment. Now we switch on the laser pointer. Now what? We see, we see points here. So this here, it's bright. I switch off the light to be clear. So this is here the central maximum. It's very bright, and this one is the first maximum, and also this point is the first maximum. So this is the diffraction grating. Now. We measure the distance between the fraction grating and the screen. So we measure this one here. So it is 10 centimeter. So D capital equals the 10 centimeter. And we measure Y1 and Y2. So let this is Y1. So Y1 it is seven centimeter so y1 equal seven centimeters and we measure y2 it is the distance between the central and the other maximum so it is okay it is 6.8 it is 6.8 so y2 equal 6.8 centimeter we find the average so y equals the seven plus 6.8 divided by 2. What about the double slit? If we replace the diffraction grating by double slit. This is double slit. So we, uh, what will happen for this one? i show you. When we replace diffraction grating by double slit, it will be not clear. So the frames are not clear. So what we do, we increase the distance between double slit and the screen. So, what will happen now when we increase the distance? So, also it is this clear. So, this is a double slit. Now, for here, the distance between slide 
and the screen denoted by D, we replace by the fraction grating D, it was 10 centimeter. Why it is the average of Y1 and Y2? It was uh, 6.9. So 10 theta 1 equals uh, Y over D, it is 6.9 divided by 10, 0 0.69. So theta 1, the angle of first uh, maxima, it's arc 10, 0.69, which is 34.6 degrees. We use a diffraction grating, so d sine theta 1 equals uh, n times lambda, n equals 1, the order. So d, already we have d given, 1.67 times the 10 power negative 6 sine 34.6 equals 1 multiply lambda. From this, we can calculate the value of lambda. Lambda is 9.48 into 10 power negative 7 meter. So that are the calculations. Third page. Now, assuming that the slit par uh, parameters and the light wavelengths are fixed. What can we do in order to make Y bigger? So to make Y bigger, we increase the distance between double slit and the screen. If the laser light is replaced by normal light, what will happen? The diffraction will be disappeared. So no fringe will be formed. What about the conclusion? Why we did this experiment? Actually, we use two ways, double slit experiment and the fraction grating. But we prefer the fraction grating because in the fraction grating, the fringes are uh, clear and they are very, very sharp. But in case of young double slit, the fringes are not clear and it's difficult to get the distance between the central maximum and the first maximum. By using the diffraction grating, First, we calculate angle theta, theta 1, the angle of the first maxima, and theta equals y over d. Y it is the average of the length between the central and the other two points, and d it is the distance between the uh, diffraction grating and the screen. We can calculate theta from 10 theta, and then by knowing uh, d, the uh, distance between two slits in the fraction grating, which is given, we can calculate lambda n equals 1. From the relation, d sine theta 1 equals 1 times lambda. I hope you, you understand this experiment. Thank you.